So, <coughs> hello everyone. Uh, so the idea is uh, to talk about communication, right? And um, so I figure out that we can do this like that. It looks a little bit simple, but anyway, A try to talk with B and there is several ways to do so. A can go to B if they are not in the same city and they talk together. Or A can send a messenger to B and the messenger will take and talk to B, or he can send a message, a letter, whatever, between A and B. And then, thanks to Gutenberg, he can even write a book. The book will go to B and C and D and everyone. Or later on, a guy invent the telegraph, so it was quicker. A sent the telegraph to B. Later on, somebody invent telephone, so he take a phone, talk with B. Later on, radio, TV, and then internet came. With internet, we do basically the same. We use email to send a message from A to B, or the blog to send a message to B, C, D, and, and so on. And um, then basically came the idea, what next? Could internet do something more? And actually what we try to do is 3D. So we say most of those messages were on two dimension. Could we send a three dimension message? And the answer is yes, more or less. So we have a 3D virtual today. It's about the movies, message, and there is a lot of people working on the internet to send kind of 3D. It's a virtual 3D. And my speech will be, what could happen if we use four dimensions? What does it mean, four dimensions? So we know since Albert Einstein, <coughs> so it's many years ago, that we live in, in a four-dimension world, at least, perhaps five, six, or seven, but for sure in four. His idea was to say space, time is a continuum. We are not able to distinguish space from time. So we have three dimensions for space, one for time. Everyone here live in a four dimension. If not, you were not able to do so. <coughs> we, I will not be able to, <coughs> to speak. So we are in a four dimension. None of our messages are really in four dimension, in a sense of continuum. So the challenge is this now. Could A, B, A and B work simultaneously on the same message? It's what it, it means. So it's the difference. It's not produced by A or by B. It's produced together in real time. So it's not like I talk and then you answer. It's like we talk together on the same sentence. I don't know if you already try. You know, it's somebody who's, who says a subject. The other one says a verb and then somebody else says the compliment. It's not so easy. There is no so game. There is nothing like that today. There is some few things that could help us to understand. The first one is what the architect do. They have what they call a maquette. Through the maquette, people can develop a building by having a small representation of what they want to do and they can build it together, right? In the industry, we do that with prototype, but don't forget, it's not a message that I send to you, you make a correction and you send back. So it's not Wikipedia, huh, what I'm talking about. It's something s in simultaneities, continuous. So I propose a new concept called stimulus, or stimuli, if you have many, and should be a digital object that many can work on at the same time. 
And this stimulus should be the representation of a common or a collective intelligent work. So there is some example who are close to this concept, but still I think the stimulus as a 4D representation is not yet on, on, uh, on the table. The very interesting thing is, if we could do that, it means that we will work not in co-working, <coughs> not in co-laboration, <coughs> but in really in co-creation. There is no distance, continuum, between space and time. And this concept of time linked to the space is not really what we do now. Internet is still a time delay machine. And we don't have so many um, software who can help us to do so. But the idea is, in the center of the discussion should be a 3D dimension mm -hmm. that everyone can work on at the same time. So we call that stimulus. And we're trying to build that with a, a guy, I don't know if you know, the Professor Jeffrey Wang at APFL. It's a crazy idea. If we succeed next year, we're trying to program that. If we succeed, we come back next year to show you <laughs> the idea. But if somebody is interesting, or if somebody has an idea, because on the conceptual level, it's still very complicated, we are very happy to have your help and the stimulation could be a co-creation story. That's it. Thank you.